Hi, I'm Ron Helbritter, technical advisor for Legendary Auto Interiors, and I'd like to welcome you to Legendary Studio, where today we're going to show you the proper way to install our seat covers for our 1973 and 1974 Barracuda and Challenger. Now, these seats are a little more challenging because the molded foam is actually injected with the metal seat frame. So if there's any foam work needed, you have to section it in or repair it since there's not a foam kit that's available for these. Now, the bottoms on these... The listing wire and the listing rods are all molded in here, and we'll show you how to install those later in the video. So with the help of Randy Brown, we're going to show you why Legendary Auto Interiors is number one with collectors, restorers, and enthusiasts worldwide. Our first step be to apply some burlap to the bottom side of the foam. You need to take some general spray trim adhesive found at your local auto parts store. You'll see Randy's using some vinyl top adhesive, which is a contact cement, and he's gluing a layer of burlap to the bottom side of the foam. Now, originally, they didn't come with any burlap on the seat springs, but we're going to glue some burlap to the bottom side of the foam just to add some strength and stability. Now, our next step, we want to take the face of the foam. Since there's not a pre-molded foam kit available for this model yet, we're going to glue a half inch of foam to the entire face of the cover. This will help fill out the cover and you'll notice any shrinkage of the foam from the cover being on so many years, the foam will help liven that up quite a bit. And we're spraying both sides, the new foam and the original foam kit, and then letting it get a little tacky before we actually glue that to the face of it. To trim off any excess, you can use a foam saw, which Randy has, a pair of scissors, a razor blade, or mom's old carving knife. Now our goal here is to put a half inch of foam over the entire face of the molded foam kit. We want it to wrap around the entire top edge so it fills out the cover real nice when we put our brand new seat cover on. And what Randy's doing here is measuring so we don't have a whole lot of excess when we do our trimming. Now if at any point during your restoration you want to have the professionals at Legendary Auto Interiors do this work for you, you can give us a call at 1-800-363-8804 or you can visit our website at www.legendaryautointeriors.com. Now that Randy has the square is ready to glue onto the outside collar areas. We want to spray a general amount of adhesive on both sides, the foam side and the molded foam kit side. And we want to tuck that new foam that we're attaching down inside the area where our listing wires are going to be attached. And when we glue our new parts on, we want to tuck the new foam down inside the listing pocket cavity and then roll the foam over on the edge making sure that the foam is not wrinkled or else you'll see that wrinkle underneath your brand new seat covers. We want to repeat the process on the opposite side and then we want to trim off any excess. Now before you do your trimming keep in mind we're just putting new foam on the face of the cover, not so much on the outside edges or the front edges. So when we do our trimming, it's going to be very important that we keep it just to the top side. You'll see Randy's using a foam saw to trim off the excess. You can use a razor blade, a pair of scissors, or mom's old carving knife. Now after trimming it, you want to go over all the edges to make sure they're nice and smooth. That way underneath your seat cover you don't see any foam ridges. You want to repeat the process on the opposite side. You want to tuck the foam so it's completely over the face of the molded foam kit and then you want to trim off the excess. Now your foam should be ready to accept your new seat cover. Now 
we want to position our molded foam kit on top of our seat springs to make sure everything is aligned properly, make sure there's no wrinkles, and secure it, hoggering it around the seat springs and around a little bit of the burlap to keep the molded foam kit in place while we're doing our seat cover installation. Our first step of our seat cover installation would be to take some duct tape along the back corners to just protect that sharp corner so the seat cover doesn't prematurely wear through on a sharp metal edge. Then we want to install our paper coated listing wire into the pockets that are sewn into the seat cover. Now you want to make those listing wires the same length as the listing pocket. You want to tuck that pocket down in through the seat foam and put a hog ring around the paper coated listing wire that slid into the insert listing pocket and then around the insert listing wire that is in the molded foam kit. You want to repeat the process on the opposite side and then we can start wrapping the edges of vinyl over the edge of the molded foam. Now you want to be careful make sure the welt or the piping is all running in the same direction make sure it's not twisted you want to hold the front edge while you're working your way towards the back edge. Now when you're working your way towards the back edge, you can actually hog ring the welt around the edge so the seat cover stays in place. You want to repeat the process on the opposite side. You want to compress the foam up underneath the seat cover and carefully roll the vinyl over the edge of the molded foam. You'll see it's going to be very tight and you can compress the springs while you're wrapping that vinyl over the edge of the foam. You want to secure the front edge just with the weight of your body while you're working your way towards the back edge. And you want to massage the vinyl so it gets any wrinkles out. Make sure all the piping or the welt is going all in the same direction. And then the posts that stick out on both sides, you want to notch those and put the seat cover over the top of that notch. This will allow you to wrap that vinyl around that back edge and secure it properly. Now this is a very important step. If you make the cut in the wrong area and you need to go back and reinstall your seat cover, they may not line up in the same position. So it's a very important step that you get that in the right, correct position before you cut the hole. You want to make sure the side skirt and the top edge looks correct before you make that cut. You want to repeat the process on the opposite side. And once both of those are wrapped around and that hole is cut for the post, that post is there so the front seat top, when it's bolted together, rests against those two posts when it's in the upright position. Now that the perimeter is wrapped all around the seat cover, we can go through and we can compress the springs, wrapping the seat cover up over the edge of the seat springs, and then hog ringing it into place. You want to start at the corners to make sure that your seat cover is installed symmetrically. And it's a little bit easier to compress the springs if you're working side to side. And once all four corners are anchored, Flip it back over on the top side. Make sure everything is just how you want it before you put your remaining hog rings in it. You can kind of get a good look of how your seat cover is going to look before you finish your installing your remaining hog rings. And then we can start with the front edge, starting at the middle and working your way towards the outside edge. You can secure the hog rings. Starting on the front edge, moving over to the sides, and then doing the rear edge last. Now the previous anchor points that you made on the back edge with the welt may need to be removed and then reattached. You'll see there's some anchor points on the corner as well. Now these are also important because you don't want the excess material to interfere with the seat rails that slide back and forth. 
You want to flip the seat back over on its front side so you can work any minor wrinkles that you have and get a look for how it's going to be finished up. And our last step on our front seat bottom will be to attach the rear stretch panel which folds over the edge of the seat frame and hog rings to the seat springs. You want to repeat the process on the opposite corner and that completes your front seat bottom seat install. You can come over to the front side and work out any minor wrinkles and then we can start on our front seat top. As you can see we've cut out a layer of half inch foam to set over the insert portion. Now Randy sprayed some general spray trim adhesive on the center section and the piece of half inch foam that we want to lay on top to build the foam up another half inch. What that's going to do is fill out our seat cover and take care of any foam that has been compressed by the original seat cover over the years. You'll see we're symmetrically putting it in place so we can still get the insert pockets tucked down in along the outer perimeter edge of the piece that we just glued. Our next step is to glue the outside edge as well. We want to get our center point of the foam, mark our center point, line it up, make sure we have enough coverage to cover the entire outside section. Now in this piece we're just doing the face of the foam not the back side of it. And we're going to spray some general spray trim adhesive on the top section and the sides. We want to start at the lower portion of the headrest making sure there's no wrinkles and carefully conform it to the original molded foam. After the headrest area is done we want to move along to our outside edges or our collar areas. We want to spray both the half inch foam and the molded foam kit. Let it get nice and tacky before we attach it. Now while we're attaching it we want to make sure that that foam tucks into the channel a little bit so it actually fills out our brand new seat cover real nice. We want to repeat the process on the opposite side also. Again, making sure we have enough foam to tuck down in through that listing area and around the outside edges. It's very important that we have no wrinkles in the foam. because If you have any wrinkles in the foam, it will definitely show when we start to install our seat cover. Now you see Randy's trimming off the excess with a foam saw. You can actually trim it with a sharp razor blade, a pair of scissors, or mom's old carving knife. I want to repeat the process on the opposite side. Now keep in mind you only want to glue half inch foam to the face of the seat. So you want to make sure that that seam rides right along the very edge, right where your piping is going to lay when we do our installation of our seat cover. You see now that the excess is trimmed off, you can come over to the bottom edge and trim off the lower edge. Now we're ready for our seat cover installation. First, we want to insert the paper coated listing wires into the insert pockets. We want to start with the one just on the lower side of the headrests. We want to make sure that the ends are curved to match the curve of the insert vinyl. Our next step will be to turn the cover inside out, but only go about halfway. This will allow us to install the top section of our seat upholstery. You want to take it and turn it inside out just to where we inserted that listing wire. And a good way to install the top half of the seat cover is to set the seat on the floor and then gradually work your way down on the seat cover pulling the wrinkles and making sure the piping is all going in the same direction and then pulling some tension on it 
on the way down. That way you can get the seat cover nice and tight. You can work the wrinkles out as you're installing the seat cover and you can make sure it's installed symmetrically. This is an important step. You want to work your way down a little bit and then pull the seat cover back up to where that horseshoe shaped paper coated listing wire shows. And then we want to put three or four hog rings along that top edge. You can see a close up here. We hog ring around the paper coated listing wire in the pocket and around the listing wire that's into the molded foam kit as well. After that's installed, we want to set the seat back on the ground and compress the molded foam and work the seat cover over the edges of the seat frame. And it's a good idea to compress the foam as you're working the vinyl down towards the lower edge. There's a large plastic flap on the back side that you have to be very careful rolling that edge over. Once our edges are wrapped around the molded foam, we want to flip the seat cover over, make sure there are no wrinkles in it, work out any wrinkles that you may have, and this is the point where we put the insert listing rods up in through the seat cover, through the insert listing pockets, reach up and hook the top side and around the square bracket on the top. You'll see the close up here where the rod is actually hooked up underneath. And on the lower section, we attach it, we push the rod into a hole and then hog ring it right to the frame. You'll see we'll show you a close up of where that hog ring needs to go and where the steel rod needs to go through the seed frame. You'll see the bottom section is where the steel rod goes through the seat frame, and that's where we hog ring it. Our next step is to insert the paper coated listing wire into the seat cover on the front stretch panel and the rear stretch panel. There'll be a gray listing material that that paper coated listing wire gets put into. You want to trim off any excess. Then you want to hog ring the front stretch panel and the rear stretch panel together. Now you'll see there's a small flap on the back side that covers the hog rings when the seat is all attached. You'll need to put four or five hog rings in across the entire seat cover. Our next step will be to cut a hole for the bolt that attaches the front seat top to the front seat bottom. You want to trim the vinyl around the exact diameter that the hole needs to be. You want to repeat the process on the opposite side. Then we want to assemble the front seat top to the front seat bottom. Now there's a, an oil board washer that goes behind the arm before the bolt goes through. And this will protect the seat cover from the arms of the front seat top wearing through the material on the front seat bottom. Repeat the process on the opposite side, tighten the bolts, and this should complete your seat cover installation. Well, hopefully this video has been very helpful for you. Hopefully we've shown you how easy it is to really get the seat looking back to its original factory condition. Now we'd like to thank all the people at Legendary Auto Interiors for making this possible. We'd like to thank Randy Brown. We'd like to thank our sponsors. And most of all, we'd like to thank you. For Legendary Auto Interiors, I'm Ron Halbreder. We'll catch you next time.